here's how we're going to test the question, how does water affect your arrows? I've got three different diameter arrows here. I've got a 166, a 204, and a 246. It's about to be a rainy weekend here in Denver, so I'm going to take these arrows, put them outside, and leave them out there for the weekend. See how much water they absorb through the weekend, and weigh them before and after. I'm going to mark down the weights on each of the fletch. In addition to that, I'm going to take and I have my bow sighted in at 50 yards. I'm going to take a few different arrows and add or subtract some weight to what those arrows are sighted in at, and then try to break down. Hey, if, if your water if water uh, affects your arrow by so much because of the absorption of the carbon, then how does that impact your input impact point? And then I'll go ahead and give, share with you the results. So we're back from outside. I had these three arrows sitting out in the rain for the last day and a half. Uh, I'm gonna weigh them now. There's still some water droplet on, droplets on here, so I'm gonna weigh it as it is, as I just brought it from outside. I'm gonna kinda give it a once wipe over with my hand and weigh it again. So this arrow weighed 424.4 grains before. Now it's weighing 431 even. I'm gonna give it just a once over and weigh it again. And it's still weighing 429.2 ounces. So there's still some water droplets on here on this one. Uh, next arrow. He said as it sits, this arrow weighed 461.5. This is the pierce. This is a 166 diameter shaft. And this one's coming in out 467.2. So um, this a once over as well. The scale. Took a little bit off, 458 point, uh, 4, 465.8, excuse me. Now the, the kinetic, which was, is a 204 diameter shaft. This one was weighing 459.8 grains when I set it out, 464.8 right now. So give it a quick once over. <clears throat> Or 64 so we're still about five grains heavy now did the carbon absorb some of the water potentially is there a little bit of the water on the surface here probably so at the end of the day what we need to know about is if we're out in the field in a hunting situation in a rain and our arrows are getting wet you're not going to take and squeegee or completely dry an arrow before you put it on to get ready to shoot at an animal. You're going to grab it, you're going to slap it on your bow if it's not on there already and be ready to shoot. Now with the test I did before with, with the bow strings getting wet, maybe not have as big of an issue if your string is clean, if it's, if it's newer, if it's uh, waxed well and, ma and, and maintained properly. But when you take into consideration if you've got an old bow string that's absorbing some water, and you've got an arrow that's five to six or seven grains heavy because of the water, you take those two uh, situations and you magnify now. So instead of potentially hitting four or five, six inches low at 50 yards, you may go ahead and add another two to three inches low because of the, the extra water weight that your arrows are going to take in. So all this is about awareness. All this is just about informing the bow hunting community that, hey, Things are not as they seem when you're practicing at 20 yards in a perfectly well-lit situation with no wind, and we get out into the field where there is many, many variables, including water, including wind, including so many other things. So take care of your setup. Uh, you know, if you can, when you're out in the field, if you, if it's, if you, you know, taking on a lot of rain, try to keep your bow dry, try to keep your arrows dry, whether you've got a, a, a you know, a disposable rain poncho or whatever you do you know maybe you're in your tent take your bow in there with you help keep it dry in addition to your arrows like I said I'm not gonna go into the science to see if if water is really truly penetrating the arrow or if it's some of the components that are just holding water it, there, there's some visible on the top but at the end of the day it still took on five to seven each of these arrows took on five to seven grains just by sitting out in the water for a day and a half so hope you enjoy this video Make sure you check out more videos like it. We're going to get into some destruction testing with the arrows and broadhead combinations uh, next. And also our quick tips that we're putting out there, our site reviews that we've got out on the site. If they're not out already, they will be coming up because they're done. 
So hopefully you enjoy these videos. If you like them, please subscribe. Don't forget to check out the Championship Bow Hunting Podcast, Mondays and Fridays, uh, iTunes, Podbean, or at championshipbowhunting.com or alphabowhunting.com. So thanks for checking it out. Check you guys later.